Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. He is alive, alive, alive forevermore. My Jesus is Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive forevermore. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. My Jesus is and at this time, we're going to plead the blood of Jesus over our nation, over our households. Amen. Because we want to be kept shielded from this COVID-19. So we're going to plead the blood of Jesus. And I encourage you to do the same. Whatever comes your way, all you have to say is, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Come on and plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Whatever comes your way, whatever comes your way, all you have to say, all you have to say, I plead the blood, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Whatever comes your way, whatever comes your way, all you have to say, all you have to say, I plead, I plead the blood of Jesus over you. Praise is what I do. Praise is what I do when I want to be close. When I want to be close to you, I lift my hands. I lift my hands in praise. Praise is who I am. Praise is who I am. I will praise him. I will praise him Every breath with every breath that I take, I will praise you. I will praise you, Lord. This promise I make. Oh, and when eternity, eternity ends and start over again, even then I will praise you. Let's sing that again. I will praise you, Lord. I will praise you, Lord. With every breath that I take, I will praise you, Lord, this promise I made. And when eternity ends, and start over again, even then, I will praise you, Lord. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names Fade away. Be getting rid of all the other names, all the idols. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your Let all, let all, let all the other names. Let all the other names fade away. other names fade away. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. One more time, we invite Jesus to take his place. Let all the other names fade away. Let all the other names fade away. Until there's only you. Till there's only you. Let all the other names fade Jesus, take your place. Jesus, take your place. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank I see you. Um, quite a bit of people here. Well, bless the Lord. Um, um, some people have their cameras on. I um, see. Uh, is that D Boy? Oh, that's the corner. Eh? And I see Ivana. I, I, I now I got a cousin in Exuma named Ivana. I believe that's you, Ivana. And then I see one of my brothers um, is also logged in. I see someone on an iPhone, um, Miss Recius. Um, um, it's quite a number of people. We have, um, what, what that number is? We have about 16 um, different um, different lines logged in right now. 16. Right. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, sir. And then we got the phone line as well. Sister Bob, Sister Roll, and everybody else on the phone line. God bless you. Who's that right there in the middle right there? That's my, that's my sister? No, that's my sister. Who that is? I can't, I'm trying to see who she is. But anyway, God bless her. Who, who's that, Cairo? Okay, okay. Oh, that's Sister Fine. Sister Patsy. Oh, my, the, my screen is small. I can't see good. It's good to see. I don't want to miss nobody out, Bishop. I want to call everybody name. Yeah. And Brother Romulo and all of you all, I, it's a pleasure to have you here today. Well, let's get right in it. My topic today is, there is more power in praise than in prayer. Hashtag, prayer without praise is a weak connection. Let me say that again. Prayer without praise is a weak connection connection give me some a little bit of that light put some of that light on me and my text is taken from psalm 100 church my sermon is authored by rock hakma my indwelling my indwelling comforter my indwelling lover right. aka bread of god aka sweet heavenly dove who said to me stay connected if you want to be protected Call out praises to the name of Jesus. Let his name escape your lips. You can sing it or you can say it. But praise the name of Jesus at every opportunity, at every time you get. Though your neighbors may think you're crazy, I want you to praise his name the same. I want you to praise him until you run out of words. Praise him until you run out of thoughts. And then say, Jesus, I don't know what to say, but I just love the sound of your name coming from my lips. I just like to call on the name Jesus. I just like to say, Jesus, I don't care if the neighbors think I'm crazy, but I'm going to call on the name Jesus because Jesus is my salvation. Jesus is my savior. Jesus Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus is my all and all. There's a song that says, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is something about that name. He's my master. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Call on the name Jesus. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Let all heaven and earth. Let all heaven. Proclaim. And earth. Proclaim. King and kingdoms. King. Kings King and kingdoms. Will all. On Saturday morning at 4 o'clock, Sierra Leone got up and the devil tried to attack her again. And she was going through so much pain and so much turmoil. And I prayed and I asked Jesus. And I prayed and I prayed and it seemed as if though he had hidden his face from me. And then the Holy Spirit said to me, You need to praise! You need to praise the Lord! Prayer without praise is weak! Yeah. 
oh my God, and I began to praise, I began to praise the name of Jesus, I must have praised his name about a million gazillion times, and when I praised the name of Jesus, the Holy Spirit flowed through me, and I laid my hand on Sierra Leone, and I will tell you, it was well, it was well, Jesus, I glorify you. Jesus, I magnify you. Jesus, I exalt you. Jesus, I shall back you. Jesus, I worship you. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I don't know what else to say, but I'm going to say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, God, I even going to say thank you for the blade of grass in my yard, Jesus. I want to say thank you for the shingles on my roof, Jesus. Oh, God, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you that you gave us COVID-19 so we could have the opportunity for the true worshipers, for the true worshipers to rise, God. Rise up and declare the truth. Rise up and sing the praises of God. Rise up, church. Rise up. Expand your praise. Excel your praise. In the name of Jesus. Church, the Holy Spirit said to me, Worship will get you through. Worship with the Lord. Worship the Lord with the fruit of your lips and with the truth of your heart. Because prayer without praise is a weak connection. I know some of you experience when you try to get online, the connection is weak. Well, prayer without praise is a weak connection. Yes. You're barely connected. One little wind blow and you're off. Prayer without praise is a weak connection. You know, my brothers and sisters, I had to think for a minute because I know that the Bible says that men ought to pray always and not to faint. And not only that, I'm an executive member of the pastors of prayer. And our motto is, we ought to pray without ceasing. So church, so church, I also know that God tells me whatever I ask for in prayer, if I believe it, I will receive it and it will be so. So, so, so I had to say, oh, oh, Holy Spirit, what, what, you, what you talking about, Holy Spirit? What, 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 what you talking about? I, I don't understand. I know you're the wise counselor, but, but how could praise, how could praise be more powerful than prayer? Yeah. Saints of God, then the Holy Spirit led me to the book of Psalm. And my first stop was Psalm 50 and 23. And it reads, He who offers a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving honors me. And to him who follows the way that I show, I will show the way, I will show the salvation of my God. Let me read that again. I bite it up a little bit. He who offers a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving honors me. And to him who follows the way that I show him, I shall show the salvation of God. Yes. I want you to turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor we will be saved by praise. We will be saved by praise. Church, we need to praise this worldwide pandemic away. Yes. We need one sound, yes. one voice. One church, one body of true believers with the victorious sound of praise. You see, true worship to me is like a two-piece combo from Bamboo Shack. Prayer is the breast fry dry and praise is the conch with the ketchup, mayonnaise and onion on it. And boy, I love me some Bamboo Shack. So I love the combo of prayer and praise. Yes, yes. Church, the Holy Spirit said to declare to the church that we will be saved by our praise. He hears your prayers, but where is your praise? The Holy Spirit said, he hears your prayers, but where is your praise? He can tell her God shakes things up through praise. If you don't believe me, ask Paul and Silas. 
Oh, they were shackled and chained, thrown in prison for teaching and preaching about the name of God, the name above all names. But one thing I love, brothers, jail didn't change their position. In fact, they praised the name of Jesus even more. They praised the name of Jesus even louder. Some of us, we allow our position to change what we are. But jail did not change their position. They lift their hands, oh God, and they sang those hymns of praise to the creator. Let me just read it. Yes. Acts 16, yes. 25 and 26 declares, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Church, they weren't just praying, but they were praising, yeah. still giving thanks yeah. despite their situation. Yeah. Church, I dropped by this morning to tell you, I got a sacrifice of praise despite of what is going on in the world. I'm going to open up my mouth and I'm going to say Lord, I thank you in advance. I thank you for keeping me safe. I thank you for preserving my family. I thank you for shielding my wife who's on the front line. Lord, I thank you. I thank you in advance for healing the world. Lord, I hope I don't sound too presumptuous because I'm just standing on your word. And I know God you ain't slack concerning your word. So I can be bold, I can be brave, and I can declare that this word will be healed. Yeah. Thank In you, the Jesus. name of Jesus. Thank yes, you, sir. Jesus. Prayer and praise. Mm -hmm. A solid connection. The only way to the truth. The only way to the truth and the life. I don't know about you, but I live to praise him because praise is what I do when I want to be close to you I lift my hands in praise because praise is who I am I will praise you while I can oh God I will bless you I will bless you I will bless you at all times because I vow I vow to praise you in the good and the bad Lord I vow to praise you when I got food on my table I vow to praise you whether my body is aching or not I vow to praise you when I got money in my hand I vow to praise you because praise is what I do church my topic my topic today is there is more power in praise than in prayer hashtag prayer without praise is a weak connection and we must stay connected to be protected All right. and in order to the wife said to say that again prayer without praise is a weak connection and we must stay connected to be protected yeah, that's right. and in order to fully and in order for you to be fully connected we need to learn how to praise yes, yeah. a lot of us don't know how to praise we need to learn how to praise which leads me to my text which is taken from psalm 100 make a joyful noise unto the lord all the lands some of us know how to make noise but the noise ain't joyful the bible says to make a joyful noise unto the lord all the lands serve the lord with gladness come before his presence with singing know ye that the lord he is god it is he who had made us and not we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise be thankful unto him be thankful unto him and bless and bless his holy name for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations my brothers and sisters we are called even more to praise than to pray i know this song strange to you but praise will make the enemy flee quicker than any prayer i said praise will make the enemy flee quicker than any prayer darkness scatters when light appears evil can't stand around when you release the glorious sound satan ducks i said satan ducks when the praise go up church in the powerful story of jehoshaphat we see how israel's enemies were defeated because of their obedience to praise god 
as they began to sing and praise the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated saints of God praise defeated the enemy and praise will defeat this plague praise will defeat any plan any thought any idea any notion any desire of the enemy church it is us who must make a joyful noise unto the Lord holy lands despite what is going on in your nation you need to serve the Lord with gladness you need to come before his presence with singing China you need to praise the name of Jesus Italy I say you need to praise the name of Yeshua America the land of the brave and the home of the free you better lift those holy hands and praise the name of Emmanuel 242 242 you gotta shout it out loud you gotta shout it out loud and clear s-a-l-a-v-a-t but the devil the devil try hold on devil s-a-l-v-a-t-i-o-n because without salvation we are doomed without salvation there ain't no hope because christ Christ is the connection. Christ is the connection for your protection. Amen. All right. He's the way, the only way, the truth and the life. Jesus, the light of the world. I say Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Jesus, our Prince of Peace. Yes. Jesus, our mighty counselor. Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Jesus the mediator of the new covenant. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, we must enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Yeah. Despite the escalating numbers of COVID-19 in America, mm -hmm. despite the incessant magnitude of deaths in Italy, we must, thank, we must be thankful yeah. and we must bless his holy name we must call him wonderful counselor we must call him precious cornerstone bright and shining morning star we must call him faithful and true for the lord is good for the lord is good and his mercy oh my god somebody say mercy 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 and his mercy is everlasting. God, you are merciful. God, you are ever forgiving. God, you are a healer. And I know that your truth endure it to all generations. Yes. So see why I say I could stand on authority of the word? It's in the word. America, put aside your false teachings. Seek deep within your DNA and find Christ. Put aside your pride. You took him out of the schools. You disobey his laws. But it ain't too late. It ain't too late to open your mouth. It ain't too late to open your mouth and shout, Jesus, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on us. Jesus, oh Jesus, hide not your face. Hide not your face from us. You are the Alpha and the Omega. I know you got the whole world in your hands. Oh my God, that song's, I mean, that, that song's so reassuring. I know you got the whole world in your hand. Because you are the creator. You are the resurrection and life. You're my hope of glory. Oh God, I love the song of that. You're my hope of glory. And I need you, Lord, to heal our world. Heal our world like you did it for blind Bartimaeus. Heal our world like you did it for Naaman. Heal our world like you did it for the woman with the issue of blood. Church, praying is fine. But you got to praise. Yes. It's your praise that will make the difference. 
It's your praise that will invite the presence of the Almighty. God gets closer to us when we praise him. Anybody know Psalm 23 and 3? He inhabits the praises of his people. He inhabits the praises of his people. Yes. First yes. Peter 2 and 9, but you are a chosen generation, yes. a royal priesthood, a holy nation, yes. a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who had called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Amen. You can't be a child of God and living in darkness. You can't be a child of God and you has no light. Jesus. My God, my God, Oasis, I wish I had one crazy praiser up in here today. I wish I had someone who would declare, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name forever. I wish I had someone with a heart of thanksgiving and lips filled with praise. Someone who can boldly say, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Yes. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Yes. Oh, Hallelujah. oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. And oh, I like this last, this last verse. I sought the Lord and he heard me. And he delivered me from all my fears. We got so many fears today. But I sought the Lord. And he heard me. And he delivered me not from some. But he delivered me from all of my fears. He delivered me from Corona. He delivered me from COVID-19. He delivered me from death. He delivered me from the grave. My soul is free. I got the victory. I can't preach sitting down. I want to stand up and I want to praise the Lord. This is hard for me to preach sitting down because I got a praise inside of me that I just got to let out. I got a praise that, oh my God, is burning me up. I want to praise you, God. I want to thank you, Jesus. I want to lift your name up. Oh God, because you are worthy to be praised. I apologize, y'all gotta bear with me. So, uh, so, uh, so, something just different. There's just something different about me today. There's just some, the Holy Spirit said praise, and so I'm gonna praise. I, I, I pray, I pray, but I'm gonna praise. But watch this. How, how do I praise? Yes. How do I praise? I must praise him with an acceptable praise. Mm -hmm. An acceptable praise. Any old praise won't do. And Ananias and Sapphira, they wanted to praise him. Uh -huh. Hmm, did you see what happened to them? That's a strange way to look at it. When you donate something to Christ or you give something, but when you were the whole and lie, your praise ain't acceptable. Right. Cain wanted to praise him. But Cain's praise was not acceptable. The scribes and the Pharisees, they praised him too. But was their praise acceptable? A pompous praise, an arrogant praise, a lip service praise just won't do. You got to praise him with sincerity. You got to praise him pure in heart. You got to praise him from the core of your soul. With the best you got. No half stepping, what's up in face, Facebook. What? Hmm. No half stepping, what's... Boy, boy, look here, look here, look here. I got, so, I got something inside me today, Deacon Guardian. I, ju I just can't contain it. I just can't contain it. So, so if you don't understand me or for biting up my words, go on understand. Because I got a praise. I got a praise inside of me. And this praise is from my belly. This praise is from where it hurt. Oh God, this praise is in advance. I praise him in advance because I know. I know that I know that I know that he is going to hear my prayer. He's going to hear my praise. Yes. My two-piece combo from Bamboo Shack. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if anybody 
got a post-dated phrase. If you got a post-dated phrase, I want you to wave your hand. I wonder if anybody got a post-corona praise. A post-corona praise. Oh my God. I wonder if anybody got a consistent praise. Despite going through hard times last year. Despite going through all the hard times in the beginning of this year. I wonder if anybody got a consistent praise. Did you did your praise dip? Did your praise waver? Did your praise falter? Prayer without praise is a weak connection. It's a weak connection. Church, my brothers and sisters around the world, you got friends in quarantine. You had family members who have already died. Things ain't looking too good for you. But yet you got a praise. That is the kind of praise that we need to cancel this virus. Mm -hmm. Don't grumble. Don't complain. Mm -hmm. Just praise. Yes. Just praise. Amen. I want to read Hebrews 13 and 15. Through Jesus, therefore, let us at all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, yes. which is the fruit of the lips. That thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. Yes. Jesus, I praise you. Jesus, I adore you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I need you to show up with all your glory. I need you to show up with all your power. I need you to show up with all your might. Lord, the whole world is depending on you. And you are the creator. You are the king of kings. And it is your will. It is your will. Jesus. Oh my God. It is your will that your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Boy, think about that. Think about that for a minute. It is God's will that his kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. So we ain't got to worry about nothing. We the church, we just got to praise. We just got to praise. Because when we praise, he inhabits our presence. He inhabits our praise. Oh my God. Oh my God. He inhabits our praise. That's why it's important to praise. You are in control, Lord. We humbly confess we have sinned. And now we come before you in repentance, yes. asking for you to heal our land. We lay all negativity at your feet. We lay all division at your feet. We lay all malice at your feet. Hate and segregation is at your feet. Haughtiness and selfish ambitions at your feet. All backbiting and evil thoughts are at your feet. Wash us, Lord. Cleanse us, Lord. Restore us, Lord. Purify us, Lord. Save us, Lord, we pray. In the name of your son by whose stripes we are healed Jesus the Christ Jesus the Christ Jesus the Christ we pray amen amen church once again my topic today is there is more power in there is more power in praise than in prayer hashtag Prayer without praise is a weak connection. And we must stay connected in order to be protected. And in order to fully be connected, we got to learn how to praise. We got to learn how to praise. A lot of us don't know how to praise. We could pray, but we can't praise. Because see, praying is asking for something. A lot of us know how to ask for something. First thing in the morning, see, I really don't come. Daddy, could I have this? Daddy, could I have that? Carol said, Daddy, I could get a snack. Then you said, Daddy, what for dinner? You see, we could pray, but we can't praise. Because praise is thanking him. Praise is celebrating him. Praise is worshiping him. We gotta learn how to praise. We're too selfish. We got our own selfish ambitions. It's all about us. But I, I drop by to tell you this morning, the Holy Spirit say, without praise, 
you got a weak connection. And if your connection weak, you could be off in a jifty. In order to give an acceptable praise, you need an acceptable life. Is your life acceptable? I want you to do an evaluation. Is your life acceptable? Are your service acceptable? Is it just routine? Is it just a sense of godliness? Is it just something to pass the time? Is your life acceptable? Church in 2 Chronicles in 20. I'm only going to read two verses because of essence of time. I, wanna, I want you to watch this. After consulting the people, Jehoshaphat appointed men to sing to the Lord and to praise him for the splendor of his holiness. As they went out at the head of the army saying, Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. As they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushes against the men of Ammon and Moab and Mount Seir who were invading Judah and they were defeated. Yes. I'm just, I'm done. My brothers and sisters, praise will defeat any army. Praise will defeat any plague. Praise will cancel the plans that the devil has for your life. Praise invokes a supernatural power that shields you from anything that is not of God. Praise invoke the shield of Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You could say that as much as you want. If you ain't praising God, you ain't shielded. You could say it as much as you want. That is lip service. The scribes and the Pharisees were good at lip service. Praise comes from your belly. Praise comes from your heart. Praise comes from the core of your soul. Yes. Praise will invoke the 27th Psalm. Oh my God, I just love saying this. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Oh my God, when the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes come upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble. They stumble and fell. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fare. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Yes. One thing have I desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. And guess why? To behold, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Thank you. For in the trouble of time, for in the trouble of time, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall mine head be lifted up above mine enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. Yay. I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice. Have mercy also upon me and answer me. You got to praise. You got to praise. My brothers and sisters. I end by saying, prayer and praise is the ultimate combo. Mm -hmm. Prayer alone is a weak connection. You got to learn how to praise. Yeah. Yes. And you have to make sure that your praise is acceptable. And how to know if your praise is acceptable? It must come from your heart. It must come from your soul. It must come from your belly. Church, the Holy Spirit said to tell you, your praise, your praise, your praise will chase away this virus. Uh -huh. 
Continue to pray, but you got to learn to praise. Some people, and, and we guilty of this too. We guilty sometimes we only record the message. Sometimes the pastor wants so much time that he limited down to one song. Church, the word is good. We need the word. Prayer is excellent. We need prayer. But we also need praise. So I want you to be encouraged. God bless you. While I saw several of my other friends, <coughs> excuse me, signed in. I, I think that's my cousin. No, Kevin Hartley. Kevin is in. And I saw an officer, Hello. one of my friends, an officer. Kevin, how you doing? Hey. Um, it's, it's a pleasure having you here at the New Oasis of Love Kingdom Ministries. It's a pleasure to be here. Yes, sir. And I see um, Thompson. You got Thompson Farm on. The Thompson Farm is there. Um, right. You know, I just, I just, I just want us to take. What we, I done. That's the message. I hope you got it. I know if you got it. <laughs> Deacon Gary, Deacon Gary, you got it. You got it. All right. So, so I, I want, I want Carol to unmute everybody. I want everybody to unmute, and we gonna, we gonna, we gonna make a victorious sound. We gonna make a victorious sound on the count of three. On the count of three, I want everybody to just call on the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus. Jesus.